Hey you guys, it's Megan. I hope you're having an amazing Friday so far. That means it's weekly repeats and reviews, as you guys, I'm sure now. Um, but this week, I don't really have a lot to talk about, so I'll just jump into the makeup-y stuff, because I only have two things. So the first thing that I've been using repeatedly, because this is probably going to, like, be used up soon, is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And this is a, just a sample that I got. Sorry there's, like, birds and stuff, like whatever. We have the windows open because it's a beautiful day, so sorry about that. But this is a really great mascara that I really like, and I want to get my use out of it because it's definitely, like, coming to the end of the product. But I'm wearing it today. If you can see, I did a mascara zoom up last week too. So I really like this mascara. It's definitely, like, really voluminous, really exactly like the lashes I like. I love the wand. It's like a big teddy bear brush. It's amazing. And um, yeah, I'll be sad when this is gone, but I really love the Giorgio Armani right now. But this is the one I've been using um, pretty much all week because I do want to use it and get all the use out of it until it's all used up. So that is something that I've really been enjoying this week. And my other makeup thing that I pulled out for this week was the Autograph Pure Luxe Powder Highlighter in Golden Rose. And this is something I got last summer. And I bought this from the Marks and Spencers website. I was like on a British kick. Like I was buying so much stuff from them. It was really, really odd. And like the shipping is like hella expensive. So I don't know what got into me last summer. But this is something that I bought because I read that it was a dupe for the Estee Lauder Modern Mer Mercury bronzing highlighter thing. And um, I have totally neglected this because I feel like this is such a summery product because it's like a bronze highlighter. And you guys know I'm really, really fair. So this normally would, I think, not look so great on me. It's sort of like rose gold, actually. Um, golden rose, maybe that's why they called it that. Um, but I'm wearing it today. I've been mostly using this as like a highlighter and blush um, because I think that it just gives a really pretty look. I forgot to put on the Benefit High Beam today. I've been layering these two things together and it gives like a really ba-bam highlight. It's beautiful. Um, but if you have this for some random reason, <laughs> because I don't think they sell this anymore, um, definitely pull it out and give it a shot because it's it's so beautiful. Like, who can deny that? It has a nice mirror, um, but it's like foggy. Like, I don't know what that's about. But anyhow, I really like this. I'm glad that I decided to use it this week because I haven't used it in like a year and it is so pretty, like come on. So that was really fun to use and hopefully I'll use that some more this summer before I feel like it doesn't look great on me anymore. The rest of the stuff is skincare. So um, I mentioned in one of my videos this week that I was using the Olay Henriksen Enlighten Me Skin Tone Corrector with the Sheer Transformation together. It must have been my haul when I showed this. And um, skincare, of course, is hard to tell if it's doing anything like in just a week. But I really did like this combo. So this is a really good serum, but I've only used this for a week and I've already used that much. Which, I don't know if that really means that I'll get through this quickly because I probably won't use it every night like I did for the past week, but that seems like kind of a lot to use in just a week. So I use one full pump and then I put it all over my face and down my neck. It's plenty for all of that and I think that it's like just the right amount. So I'm happy with like the dispensing method I guess and how much you get, so that was really good. And then I hadn't tried the sheer transformation until I got this and I really like this. It's a really nice, just, it seems like a normal night moisturizer. I don't usually like things in pots because I don't think it's very sanitary, but um, since it is smaller, I don't know, I'm not going to go to all the trouble of getting like a little spatula or whatever. So um, I've just been digging it out with my grimy hands, but it, it's been really nice. I really do like it. I like the texture. You don't need too much. It seems moisturizing, not overly, not 
not enough. Um, so I really do like this combo since they do recommend using these together. I thought I would give it a shot since I have both. Um, I do like them. They didn't seem to irritate my skin in any way. Um, my skin has been like getting ready to break out because it's that time of the month, you guys, um, which is always fun. So the next products I was using to like combat that but these I don't think were like irritating my skin in, in any way. I just think that it was like hormones and stuff were raging in my body. So <laughs> that is such a weird thing to say. But I really did like these, but I would have to use them for longer to tell you if my skin tone lightens or whatever. So for combating acne this week, for um, twice I believe I used this. This is the Clear Pore um, Cleanser Slash Mask from Neutrogena. This is something that I always keep on hand for any time I have breakouts feeling like they're coming through or when I have active breakouts. This is a benzoyl peroxide. It has 3.5%. Um, benzoyl peroxide works better for me. So if you... Um, respond better to that, this is a really good product to try out. So what I was doing this week was I cleansed my face in the morning and then I would just put a layer, I was mostly breaking out like in my chin which is how I knew it was um, hormones. So I would just put a layer on that and like watch a video or something and then rinse it off. So usually I put this on like at night if I have an active breakout and then like let it sit for a really long time. But since um, it's just like under the skin and I wanted it to like penetrate but I didn't want it to like dry I sort of had my skin damp like fresh after I washed it and that really worked it like I was feeling like there was gonna be a breakout right at um, like the base of my chin but nothing has come through and it really feels smooth like when I was washing my face today I couldn't feel anything anymore so I love this this is amazing stuff and then I also used two of my dr. Dennis gross alpha beta peels these are amazing. I love these so much. I used one in the morning the one day and then one at night last night. So these are definitely good um, for exfoliation. So combating acne or any sort of like skin thing like that. Um, I don't know if I would use these every day. I don't think it would be bad for my skin, but just because they're so expensive, I don't know if I'd use it every day. But every other day or every so often when I feel like I need it, these are amazing. But those two products together, I think really helped clear my skin up and made sure that I didn't have a face full of acne for my period time. Okay. The only other thing that I wanted to mention that I have been doing repeatedly this week is doing crazy stuff, for me this is crazy, with my hair. So this is like a French twist? I don't really know. I don't know what exactly it's called but I will link the tutorial below that I found of this hairstyle and that I, I've repeated this look twice but for braids I have been obsessed. I have googled or YouTube searched um, hairstyles for medium length hair and braid tutorials. I have watched probably like 50 braid tutorials. I am out of my mind. Last, not last night, yesterday I did like a two, I did two French braids on both sides of my hair and then like twisted them in the back. It was so cute. I really liked it for summer. Um, and this, but this is like my favorite. This is what I've been repeating and I really, really like it. It's just like if you were doing a French braid but only with two pieces of hair so you like twist them and then you like grab hair from the front well I do and then twist it and then grab hair blah 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 and I just sort of pinned it like at the base of my neck at my nape is that what it's called who knows I don't know anything about hair but I've really been enjoying it because I never really do anything with my hair so I thought that it would be fun to just experiment I don't really know what got me into doing that. I just kind of wanted my hair out of my face. So um, that's been really fun. I really, really enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. I've been getting a lot of practice doing braids and stuff. So I think that that has been fun. And I'll link some of my favorite videos down below that I discovered. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I um, have just been using the same things like my same base routine. So the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream with my Wet n Wild coverall. I love it so much. I apply it with my Beauty Blender. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm still doing my colorful eyeshadow challenge. It's been a blast. I've been trying to take a picture of my eyeshadow every day. I forgot to yesterday, which really bums me out because I really liked the look I did yesterday. It was like golden, like with greens. 
And today I did sort of like a green, it's very subtle, but it's sort of a green because I'm wearing, <laughs> you guys will laugh, I'm wearing this Patrick shirt, obviously from Spongebob, hopefully you guys know that, um, but he is like um, green in his little um, swim trunks, so I thought that that would be cute, I don't know, I'm really weird, but I wanted to wear this shirt, so gotta match the makeup to the shirt, you know, so... I guess that's it, you guys. I wish I had more to talk about, but um, I cannot wait to do a Project Use It Up update at the end of this month. Um, I also have a good amount of empties to show you, which I'm really excited about. And then um, tomorrow is Rachel's 16th birthday. <sighs> mind blown. I don't know how that's possible. She's six years younger than me, so I don't know how I'm already 22. It's like really freaking scary, but um, I'm excited for her and I hope that she enjoys her birthday with whatever we decide or she decides that we should do. Um, and my mom has off today, so hopefully we'll do some sort of fun family stuff. But I hope that you guys have a really great start to your week. Thank you so much for all of your, like, watching and commenting this week. It's been so fun. I really liked reading your comments from my video, my last video, about what does makeup mean to you. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. But thank you guys so much for watching it and commenting, as always, but especially, like, with your opinions. I think that that's really cool, and um, hopefully I'll do more of those sort of like tell me what your opinion is about this type of stuff video because I really enjoy reading your comments most especially about that so um I hope that you guys have a great weekend I will see you guys really soon and um have a great day bye